Dr. Pepper, the famous 23 flavor soda, has lots of spin-off products, such as Diet Dr. Pepper. That's not the topic here today though. No, we're not talking about Diet Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. But what we are talking about is Hot Dr. Pepper. That's right, Hot Dr. Pepper was originally introduced in the 1960s as a winter beverage. Here are some advertisements from the 1960s showing about Hot Dr. Pepper. However, it was short-lived. But you still don't believe me? You think this is a joke? Just go to the Facts and Questions article on the Dr. Pepper website. Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to make it. All you need is a Dr. Pepper, a can or a bottle will be fine. And just proceed to open it, but don't blow it up like I did, because you know, bad Dr. Pepper right there. Anyway, you want to heat up a pen or anything and just pour a little Dr. Pepper in there as much as you want. Alright, and as soon as we did that, we're going to take a lemon and a knife and make a small slice and then put it into the glass that you're going to pour the hot Dr. Pepper in. When the Dr. Pepper starts sizzling or steaming up, that's it. Just take it off and pour it in your glass. And if you're using a glass 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 made of glass like I am, put it very slowly. Like wait five seconds between each each spill so it doesn't melt. Because you know, when glass melts, it's glass. Yeah. Also, if you try this at home and your lemon makes a popping bubble, comment or like. Because <laughs> you know, thumbs up for that. Just some more footage of the popping lemon. Yeah, and basically, this is hot Dr. Pepper. It tastes just like Dr. Pepper, only it's hot, kind of like tea, brings out the cherry flavor. A little carbonation, and I'll see you next time. Later.